Jade, welcome to the program. Hi, Dr. Laura. Hi. I'm having an issue with my husband where I'm starting to grow very resentful of him. I'm black and he's white. Uh, we've been around some of his friends and family members who start make race who start make racist comments as if I'm not there or if I'm not black, and my husband ignores those comments and it hurts my feelings. And then he just acts like he. Well, didn't. can you give me an example of a racist comment? Because sometimes people are hypersensitive. So tell me what's give me two good examples of racist comments. Okay, uh, last night, good example. We had a neighbor come over, and this neighbor, when, every time he comes over, it's always a black comment. It's, oh, well, how do you black people like doing this, and do black people really like doing that? And for a long time, I would ignore it. But last night, I got to the point where... I don't it, think that's racist. Uh, well, the, the stereotype... I, I don't think that's racist. No, I think that... No, no, no. Uh, I think that's... Well, listen... Without giving much thought, a lot of blacks voted for Obama simply because he was half black. Didn't matter what he was going to do in office. It was a black thing. You got to know that. That's not a surprise. Not everything that somebody says. We had friends over the other day. Got about 35 people here. The guys were going to start playing basketball. I was going to go out and play basketball. My bodyguard and my dear friend is a black man. And I said, white men can't jump. I want you on my team. That was racist. That was funny. How about the N-word, though? The N-word's been thrown around. Got, black guys use it all the time. Turn on HBO, listen to a black comic, and all you hear is nigger, nigger, nigger. That is I don't right. get it. If anybody, if anybody without enough melanin says it, it's a horrible thing. But when black people say it, it's affectionate. It's very confusing. Don't hang up. I want to talk to you some more. Don't go away. I'm Dr. Laura Schlesinger. I'll be right back. I'm Dr. Laura Schlesinger talking to Jade. What did you think about during the break, by the way? Uh, I was a little caught back by the N-word that you spewed out, I have to be honest with you. But but my point is, race relations... Oh, then I guess you don't watch HBO or listen to any black comedians. But that doesn't make it right. I mean, race is a big my thing. Dear, the, my Obama dear, my dear, the point I am trying to make... To another level that's unacceptable. Yeah, we got a black man as president, and we have more complaining about racism than ever. I mean, I think that's hilarious. But I think, honestly, because there's more white people afraid of a black man taking over the name. They're afraid. They want to be honest about it. Dear, they it's voted him in. Only 12% of the population's black. Whites voted him in. It was the younger generation that did it. It wasn't the older white people who did it. Oh, okay. It the All generation. right. All I right, chip on your shoulder. I can't do it's much about right. that. Yeah, I think you have too much so sensitivity okay to and okay not to enough sense of humor. Oh, it depends how it's said. Is it, is it okay to say that word? Is it ever okay it's to say a, that word? It depends how it's said. Black guys talking to each other seem to think it's okay. But you're not black. They're not black. My oh, I see. So a word is restricted to race. Got it. Can't do much about that. I, I can't believe someone like you is on the radio spewing out the nigger word, and I hope everybody. I heard didn't it. spew out the you nigger said, word. Nigger, nigger. nigger. Right. I said that's what you hear. Heard it. Yes, they did. I but hope you, everybody heard it. So what they did, and I'll say it again. Nigger, nigger, nigger is what you so hear on HB. It... Why don't you let me finish a sentence? Okay. Don't take things out of context. Don't double N double A C P me. Take the, leave the, them in context. The means, and I know it came from a white person, and I know the white person made All right. it bad. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can't have this argument. You know what? If you're that hypersensitive about color and don't have a sense of humor, don't marry out of your race. If you're going to marry out of your race, people are going to say, "Okay, what do blacks think? What do whites think? What do Jews think? What do Catholics think?" Of course, there isn't a one think per se, but in general, there's think. And what I just heard from Jade is a lot of what I hear from black think. And it's really distressing and disturbing. And to put it in its context, she said the N word. And I said on HBO, listening to black comics, you hear nigger, nigger, nigger. I didn't call anybody a nigger. Nice try, Jade. Actually, sucky try. Need a sense of humor. Sense of humor. And answer the question. When somebody says, what do blacks think? Say, 
this is what I think, this is what I read, that if you take a poll, the majority of blacks think this, answer the question and discuss the issue. It's like we can't discuss anything without saying there's isms. We have to be able to discuss these things. We're people. Goodness gracious me. Ah, ah, hypersensitivity. Okay, which is being bred by black activists. I really thought that once we had a black president, the attempt to demonize whites hating blacks would stop. But it seems to have grown. And I don't get it. Yes, I do. It's all about power. I do get it. It's all about power. And that's sad. Because what should be in power is not power, but righteousness to do good. That should be the greatest power. Jennifer, welcome to the program. Hi, Dr. Laura. Somehow I knew I would be next, and I'd get you all riled up. (laughs) I'm not riled up. It takes more than that to rile me up these days. What can I do for you? 